Hello, my name is Katie, and this is Interactive Concept 8, where I will be making instant ice. And I currently have water bottles that are in the freezer right now, and they have been in there for two hours and 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those now. So the first experiment will be to create instant ice by creating a force on this water here that's been in the freezer for two hours and 45 minutes. Um, so we're gonna jolt this water. So water has a freezing temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which we all know that one. Um, water molecules, molecules actually freeze by forming crystals. So as long as there's no imperfections in this bottle already, it was a previously opened water bottle. Um, so I had filled it with water. It was pure water. But um, as long as there's no imperfections already, when I jolt it, that'll create a imperfection, which will cause the water crystals to cling and freeze into ice or instant ice as we're going to call it. So let's see if this works. It didn't work the way that it did in the video, but I did see some ice crystals form when I did that. It kind of broke off and clung together, if you can see a little bit there. Um, it's probably due to the amount of water that's maybe in these bottles because I didn't have a 16.9 um, fluid ounce bottle that was done in the experiment. Um, and it could have also been some imperfections in this bottle because it was already opened previously. All right, but what should have happened was the entire bottle would have turned to ice because of that imperfection that jolt would have created and caused the crystals to clump together and be instant ice in that bottle. So let's try again. Um, I have another water bottle here. I'm gonna pour water from the bottle onto ice cubes. So I have a bowl right here that has ice cubes in there and what should happen here is that when the water touches the ice cubes the crystals will actually cling to one another and climb up creating instant ice with the water so let's hope this one works I don't know we'll find out I'm trying this again if it doesn't work with the 16.9 uh, all right let's pour over Nope, that didn't work. What would have happened if this did work? I would have witnessed the water actually climbing up into a mountain looking form because what happens is the water will form crystals and when it touches the already frozen ice water, ice cube here, it'll cling to it and begin to mount and use kind of a um, kind of a capillary action where it climbs up, um, but it will be crystals that combine and form crystals quicker because of the crystals that are already formed, the ice crystals. Um, so, yeah. So what would happen? It, it's it's called nucleation. It's the process when an ice crystal attaches to an imperfection and that smack that I was doing in the beginning can provide this and the crystals begin to form one on top of the other. So the next experiment, I have another water bottle. Let's hope this works. It might have needed to be in there longer than two hours and 45 minutes because I have more water. Um, all right. Oh yeah, and then the water pressure was a little off because it was open previously. So I'm going to pour water into a glass and this was frozen for two hours 45 minutes I'm sure my hand temperature is not helping there and then I'm going to take ice please work no 
did not work. So my experiment failed on all three attempts. What should have happened was the exact same thing, just in a different way. Uh, when the ice hits the water, that's come to a point where it's almost completely ice. Um, it will attach to those crystals that are already ice crystals here and form an entire ice block here in the water. So my experiment failed. Um, I'll probably be trying this one again with water bottles that aren't as big and putting in for two hours and 45 minutes. I also had it in a um, large freezer. I'm not sure if there's any temperature differences with that. Um, and a water bottle that hasn't been opened yet. So get some fresh ones that are small, haven't been opened and try that again. I did read that it doesn't always work on your first time, that it is pretty difficult because even the slightest imperfection can just cause it to freeze solid already or nothing happens like in the case of mine. Um, all right, so yeah, in, in uh, conclusion, the water molecules freeze by for forming ice crystals. The ice crystals build on the ice crystals to eventually freeze the entire bottle and that's the process of freezing. Uh, nucleation is a process when an ice crystal attaches to an imperfection which would have been either the the bang on the um, or the tap onto the water bottle and then the crystals begin to form one on top of the other so that's what should have happened with my instant ice and thank you for watching <laughs>